Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Lipsticks and Kicks, and we are back today with a quick little fragrance review. I've had this fragrance for a while. As always, thank you guys so much for your support across all the platforms. I'm definitely seeing the engagement, and that's why I'm trying to pump out videos. Y'all know life happens, and you may have changes on your daily things that you need to do. But I am trying to pump out these videos for you guys, and also we are so close to 500 subscribers. Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'll leave my shop links below, and let's jump right into it. So this is the Carolina Herrera Supreme Eau de Parfume Supreme. There are quite a few um, Carolina Herrera perfume um, glitter. So it's like a glitter ombre and shiny black and gold heel bottle. Of course, Carolina Herrera is famous for the bottles. Just very, very unique and classy, giving very sexy vibes. So I really like the bottle. And I also have the lotion as well. And I do have little travel size roller ball that you could keep in your purse. It's in one of my thousands of purses. I don't know where it is, but this is the set. So the fragrance family is floral, scent type is warm floral, keynotes are tuberose, jasmine, and tonka bean. So I'm just gonna read the description straight from Sephora. It is to embrace intense seduction with Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Eau de Parfum Supreme, which combines succulent berries and potential Egyptian jasmine with creamy tonka beans and sin leading vetiver live a spray test mm. so at first i personally get a lot of the jasmine and a lot of the tuberose and i do get like a slight little bit of like lily scent i don't know if that's some of the undertones in this scent but personally, I do smell a lot of the jasmine. And it's a very warm, sexy scent. But it's not too warm to where it's like, you feel like it's choking you. It's just a very nice, subtle, warm jasmine scent. And you do get a lot of the tonka bean in the dry down. Personally, I do feel like this is like a everyday kind of scent. I um, have had it for a while, and I'm not going to lie. I just don't reach for it as often. I really do like my MCM Ultra a lot better. I just like the wear um, lasts better on that. And first of all, for the price point, this scent still goes for over $100 because they have came out with other good girl scents. And I just feel like for the price point, this one it lasts but it's not very striking if 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 that makes sense like even now you you still smell it but it's still very faint maybe if i were to pair it with the lotion first and then spray it on top it probably would last a little bit longer or you will smell it a little bit longer but nonetheless it's still a really nice everyday scent to me it is a day night going out brunch you know going to a dinner barbecue an event a party it's definitely giving that type of scent um it is mature that's what i like about it but it's not like you know something that just smells like too old or anything it's definitely a nice fresh modern scent and it's definitely a very sexy scent i just wish that i had a little bit something more powerful in the notes because it doesn't last as long like even now like i said it's just very light um but nonetheless it's still a really good scent and the bottle is gorgeous nice decoration to keep on your vanity so i really like that and the lotion i used to keep in like my chanel maxi flat but after a while, I was just kind of like, I don't really reach for it. 
as much i'm not gonna lie like the lotion smells way more intense so that's probably a better combo just to layer them both up together so let me see how it smells on my skin but yeah the scent definitely does pull through a lot stronger with the lotion and you definitely get a lot of that warm floral scent especially with the jasmine it just smells really really good so i would probably pair it up with the lotion and the perfume do i think it's still worth it at that price point over a hundred dollars yes i do feel like that it's it's still worth it especially for the bottle i'm gonna try some of the newer ones i think i like the laguerre the good girl laguerre or something like that i really like that one that one is more on the sweeter side um this one is sweet but it's still just like warm um it's really really just described as a warm floral fragrance so so yeah you guys thanks for watching my quick little short review on the good girl supreme scent so the fragrance and the lotion i feel like it is something to have in your collection especially if you're a fragrance lover so go ahead and leave your comments below. Tell me what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one.